View the following program in its entirety with Xfinity On Demand by selecting Get Local and choosing All HS Sports. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local. You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Coach Glass does a great job with Antioch. They're a really physical team. They're fast. You know, they're throwing the ball a little bit more this year than they have in the past. Sam's done a great job uh, with them. They, they do some things that uh, cause problems for a lot of people. They got a big time quarterback, running game. Uh, offensively, they've been explosive the last couple of years. Antioch has not lost a conference game in two years, and our kids, you know, we want to be the team to beat that. We need to not turn the ball over, take advantage of opportunities. We need to uh, suffocate the run, and we need to be explosive on offense. Those are our keys. We got to try to keep their offense uh, at bay. To help that, we need to stay on the field offensively. And if we're, if we're not scoring, we need to put drives together on these guys. Uh, the less times their offense is on the field, the better it is for us. They're a top-notch program. They're going to be tough. We're going to have to play a really, really good game. And if they turn the ball over, we have to take advantage of it. Because if we don't take advantage of it, we are going to get beat. And uh, we got to make sure that we're on top of our game. The CN100 Game of the Week takes us north to Antioch for a Week 3 6A battle. It's the Northern Lake County Conference opener as the 2-0 Antioch Sequoites hosting the 0-2 Knights of Grays Lake North. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone, and welcome to our CN100 Game of the Week alongside former Northwestern Wildcat and Evanston Wildkit, Mr. Don Johnson. My name is Mark Kruger. Glad to have you aboard. Cameron Smith, our sideline reporter. We'll be checking in with him in just a couple of moments. But, Don, let's talk about these Knights. The 0-2 record perhaps a little deceiving. They lost by one last week to Deerfield and lost their season opener by five to Dundee Crown, and they were really in both games. Well, going 0-2 for the start, you're looking for chemistry in the first two games, but they were able to put up 42 points in those two games. So they have the offensive weapon power, but you've got to be able to not shoot yourself in the foot, as Coach says, and you've got to be able to get rid of the miscues and uh, work together as a unit. So they're looking forward to getting into uh, yeah, Northern Lake 30, County Conference in, play please. and sharpen things up for this game today. Antioch with wins over Lake Forest and Woodstock North, they come in 2-0. and Now as far as conference play, they ran the table in the league each of the last two years. As a matter of fact, their regular season win streak is now at 21. Well, Antioch has been dominant since this Northern Lake County Conference has been formed for the last two years. They've had nine wins, and they've got into the playoffs. Now they want to be able to make the next step, move beyond the playoffs, move beyond the second round, and show that they're one of the top teams in the state. Big down here for the Knights here, third and five. Let's see what they go into their playbook here. We need to get to the 33-yard line. Martino over here, nothing to the near side. Now over to the far, oh wow, beautiful touch. And there is the first down, first first down for the Knights. And it's taken all the way to the 35 yard line of the Sequoites. It's Nick Lovich, his 11th catch of the season, 37 yards on that hookup for Martino to Lovich. Good chemistry between Martino and Lovich. He kind of waits over there like a safety valve. He knows he's there and he just hits him with the football and he gets a big chunk of yardage and catches Antioch napping on the weak side of the field. Martineau gets flushed out, he's got time now, throws, and it's picked off. And bringing it back to the 32-yard line is Antioch. Who got that one? It looked like it was number 33 for the Sequoites. That's Devon Jackson, the junior. Where, where's my line? Jackson Devon, actually. Yeah, yeah the junior. Yeah. He's, he's sitting right on the. They went to the well on too many times over there. He's, that's a play he's tried to make where he knows he's. Love it. He's sitting there on the, on the hash mark waiting for him when he scrambles. And I think they were aware. They, their awareness grew a little bit in the secondary and resulted in a turnover. That's something he's got to work on not to telegraph that move. Sequoit's in business here. Kelly McManus rolling here to the near side. Throws. Oh, my. That was nearly picked off, but it was caught. And a touchdown. 
to his brother Dino. Boy, how did the defender miss that pick? Well, he was in great position, and we're gonna see it on the replay. He was eyeballing this all the way. He got there and then just must have just missed the ball. Let's see it here. Second touchdown of the year for Dino. Well, that was, yeah, that was Mikey Brown, the corner. Yeah, Mikey's a good corner. He's one of the better corners. And over his outstretched right arm, right in the hands of Dino Kelly Ekmanis. Kelly Ekmanis, this time he's gonna keep it. Cut to his left, he does get the first down and more. Inside the 30 and shoved out of bounds inside the 25. Another first down and a nice run there by Ethan. Ball is spotted at the 26 yard line. A gain of 21 on the play. He had two rushing touchdowns coming in the game. He goes backside, he reads it real nice. Good stiff arm, gets up the sideline. So you see he can be a runner when he has to. Martino looking to the right, to the right. He fakes it now. A little slant pattern, and this one's straight ahead. Look at him go. This is going to be a touchdown, 75 yards, and Grays Lake North on the board. That's Joe Swanson. Longest play of the year for Grays Lake North from the line of scrimmage, 75 yards from Martino to Swanson. Wow. Oh, they dial it up long distance. A nice screen here. He plays it real well. Throw back. This little rocket screen, they call it. Comes right up the middle. Wow. Rocket Ismail made this famous in Notre Dame. Swanson looks like him on this play. 75 yards, baby, to house time. House Boy, time. Right around Grays Lake North's own 40-yard line. He just put it in another gear. Yeah, he should. He's got, wow. he's got, uh, he was running down the dream on that one. <laughs> To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local.